Welcome to Edge of Souls. Yes, another session with your girl, Keyonce Coles. I just wanted to encourage everybody to get up out your bed, get cute, and show them how you got your edges back, girl. That's right, go put on a nice little sexy dress, some cute little shoes, and, and make it zoom it and zoom, because you never know who might just be watching. Thank you all for joining in and tuning in to me, Keyonce Coles, comedian extraordinaire. <sighs> About to run out of breath. Woo! Okay. Y'all get up and get dressed, okay? Put y'all nice little cute little outfit on. If you got a cute little dress, put it on. Get your makeup done. Make sure you looking cute, okay? And make sure you feeling good today, okay? Because we about to welcome you to another episode of How I Got My Edges Back. How I Got My Edges Back. Boop! Let's go. I am here. I hope y'all like my little intro. Yes, I was just wanting to encourage everybody to get you a shower, okay? For those who have not washed their tail today, go and take some time off. Go ahead and get you a little bird bath. You know, get it between them legs real quick. Between that crack them on the arms. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because we all been there before. We all had those days where we felt like we could skip a day of washing that thing, okay? Just because it's quarantine doesn't mean you don't get to wash that thing. You best to wash that thing. Anyway, I'm mad excited, y'all, and I hope y'all excited too. And if y'all not excited, guess what? You're gonna be excited after you watch this YouTube channel. This is why you gonna watch all of these videos back to back, my little one little video and my little second little video, whatever they get to be. Because I got some real hot topics today, yes. I know I ended my last video about love and all of this, all of that, and guess what? We going right back into it. Okay, but we're gonna start off a little bit different today. Okay, we're gonna start off with hmm, laughing to keep from crying. That's right. I got some tips for y'all today because you know what? To Renee's hard times, I don't know about y'all, but I be going through my days and all of this, all of that. I be feeling like, wait a minute, do I want to laugh today or do I want to cry today? I don't know. <laughs> I do want to laugh. Okay, but I laugh. The cries and the tears be coming out. Okay, so I got some tips for y'all who be feeling the same way that I be feeling, okay? So let's go start off with this. This is my favorite thing to do that makes me laugh, okay? I sing like no one is listening sometimes. You know, I put on some of my favorite music and I be like, yes, this is my song. And I am telling you. I be saying like, I don't care who watching. I don't care who listening. Because you know what, these days, Sometimes you just gotta walk in these streets and be like, I don't even care. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that. So if you need a little brief breath of fresh air, you wanna laugh at yourself or whatever, especially for those like me who can't even sing, all right? But I be trying. So that's the thing. Y'all make sure y'all take some time out to just try different things, new things that you never done before during this time because this could be so boring, you know what I mean? But this is why I wanted to create this platform so we could be entertained, we could be a whole community, you know what I'm saying? And we could just exchange these stories. I got a great story, a matter of fact, tonight for y'all that I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna give y'all some tips about laughing to keep it from crying. And some of them aren't just laughing things to keep from crying. It's just, some things is just some ideas that you can do to just keep yourself, maintain a stable head and so forth and so on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I wrote me a little couple of, um, a little platform, a little organization, okay? Cause I want to make sure I communicate all of the information correctly to y'all. Cause y'all know, like I said, this channel, <laughs> don't be acting like y'all be messing up on y'all job, okay? Because I be messing up on my stuff too. And all the editing in the world can't always fix every little thing. Boop. So the next thing that I do to laugh to keep from crying is I like to dance. Mm -hmm. And I laugh about myself dancing because of the simple fact that, you know, sometimes when you be like, eh, like bring a smile to your face, you be like, you be like, especially Michael Jackson, I be like, do you remember the time? I got my little outfit on exempted. I could have been in the video, y'all, like for real, for real. Michael Jackson, why you ain't going to be in your video? Oh my gosh, this dress is catching the back of my beaded bees, y'all. Oh my god. Anyway, so that's another thing. Y'all could do a little dance, little sequence and laugh at yourself trying to do these dance challenges like let me do this and let me do that and let me do this you know that kind of stuff make you smile i be smiling too like especially when i be in the mirror like you can't tell me nothing i'll be like don't don't let your body move to the music so dancing is something that you could just do just like 
as if nobody is watching. The fun thing about dancing is this good exercise, y'all, okay? Exercising during this time is something that I've been struggling with, and I don't know about the rest of y'all, but <sighs> trying to get the motivation to just get up and go for a walk outside, or practicing social distancing, or even just getting on the floor and doing some sit-ups. <laughs> I be like, oh, where? I ain't gonna know that. Okay, I barely want to get in the shower today, but I got in the shower because my hygiene is very important to me, and it should be important to you too, just like exercise too. So I wanna make you guys, motivate you guys to feel like you want to get up and exercise. And I know it's not good to not practice what you preach, but I got a waist trainer, so. When I wanna look skinny, I can look skinny when I want to, okay? So if you don't got a waist trainer and you don't wanna exercise, y'all better give me one. I might could get y'all a little how I got my edges back discount. We gonna see what these sponsors are doing on YouTube first, okay? Now that we are, I know you guys have been patiently waiting for this moment in time that we talk about love. Let me look up on my sign. It says, love like you've never been hurt. Now that's the challenge, okay? We can sing, dance, we can watch some stand-up comedy, we can do all of these things to laugh to keep from crying. And I'm gonna get into some tips after this. Y'all, this is a very, very, very important part. This is the topic of all topics. Love like you've never been hurt before? Who came up with that? Who came up with that? And how come it's so important? Because see, a lot of us, we sit in these shells and we show the world that we are not going through anything but guess what we be dying inside during my little relationship okay let's get into story time okay i used to do things like go home like i would come home from work and pass my house and be like i'm not going in there because i'm unhappy because i just don't want to be there i don't want to be in that negative energy and i'm like how did i end up here i was asking myself this all the time like key you are an educated black strong independent woman how is this love thing got you so addicted to toxicity Ugh. i had to ask myself like what's going on and for a very long time i didn't understand what was going on to date i'm single for the last five years it's nothing wrong with being single, okay? I just gave myself a break. Career point blank to end. I used to do things like call up my friends who I know was in like serious relationships that wasn't even working themselves, okay? And be like, yo, let's go to happy hour just so I didn't have to go home. And avoiding your house is the worst thing to do. Your house is supposed to be your sin, sin, uh, sin what is the word? Serenity? There we go, serenity. Anyway, serenity. It's supposed to be your peace. It's supposed to be your moment of recuperation restoration it's supposed to be the moment where you feel like the world i left outside and now i'm in a sanctuary you know what i'm saying and i didn't feel like that i felt like i was going from the world of chaos into a bigger world of chaos and that's not fair that's not fair like come on and you know what to this day the reason why i'm single is because trust Trusting people with your heart. Like, I'm, my duty is to protect my heart. And people do not understand what it entails to protect your heart. Loving somebody to, like, you've never been hurt before? Well, guess what? I've been hurt before. It's hard to not show that you've been hurt before because you don't want to get hurt again. You know what I'm saying? You kind of wrap your heart around with bandages forever, 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 forever in a day so that you don't feel like you repeat in history again. You know what they say. History repeats itself. And if you don't learn a value lesson in the mistakes that you made in allowing somebody to mistreat you, misrepresent you, and strain all of your energy, and that you trusted to actually be different from the rest? <laughs> okay, let me tell you something about people. We all share a lot of things, okay? And all of those things that we share are for laws. So if you are happy in your relationship, if you feel like somebody has abandoned you, and if you feel like somebody has disrespected at you, guess what? There's nothing wrong with letting that person know how you feel in a respectful way. Now, we ain't gonna talk about, we ain't gonna promote no catching no charges tonight, even though, in my mind. <laughs> I just wanna let people know that don't play with my heart because that's the last thing that you're gonna ever feel like you have control over. Yeah, maybe back in my 20s, maybe. But now, don't even play yourself, okay? Don't even try and disrespect me. Don't think that you're gonna cheat on me and come with me. Don't think that you're going to disrespect me in front of my friends and think that you're going to get some cootie at the end of the night. It's not happening, buddy. Okay? It is not happening. And we're not going to even create this type of energy at the end of the day. Period, point blank. The it. And what you're not going to do is be locking your phone, making me feel like you got something to hide from me and all of this and all of that. No. I love, but...